my name is Take a Buff, and this is the reading of the 31 Day Devotional by Ben Cerullo called Kaleidoscope. Here's the book. Here's the guy who made it. And I'm going to start off. This is a 31 Day Devotional, and I'm going to start off with uh, the first day, which is uh, talking about amazing. Oh gosh, this is the right one. Amazing Grace. I'm kind of just reading it and then firsthand and telling you um, what I think, what's my opinion on it, what do I think about it, what's my feel on it, and that sort of thing. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay? So, number one, Amazing Grace. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that's not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Grace is a free gift God has given to each of us. Grace is unearned favor that God gives us as his children. There is nothing we could ever do to earn God's favor or a relationship with him, other than by humbling our lives and submitting to him. God, in His mer mercy, provides grace for us when He sent His Son, Jesus, to take our place on the, the cross. As sinners, we deserve deserved to pay a penalty for our sin, but Jesus took our place and He took our sin on His shoulders. Christ died in our place for us. That's grace to think we don't have to earn it. There is no formula or three steps to follow. We just have to receive it. Grace is free to all who accept Jesus as Lord of their life. Just like the old song goes, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I want to encourage you today to receive His grace and accept that no matter what you have ever done in your life, no matter how much sin you have committed, God's grace and sacrifice covers it all. Please stop feeling condemned and feeling like you have to be good or earn it. You don't. You just have to receive it. Open your heart to the Lord and know that He loves you. The question is, Will you receive His love and grace? If you are struggling with feelings of inequality, I encourage you to spread more time regarding what God has, has to say about you in His Word. Don't just read it, but meditate on it and ask God to make those verses more than just words to you. They are truth and the truth will set you free. As sinners, we deserve to pay a penalty for our sin, but Jesus took our place, and he took our sin on his shoulders. Christ died in our place for us. That's grace. And this is what the inside of it looks like. It's like this for number one, this page. And that's all. It's just that one, those two pages. But my kind of take on uh, this deal is kind of like... Uh, so there's grace, and uh, God allows us to have um, this everlasting life, and God is allowing us to, if no matter what we've done in our lives, we're able to be forgiven for no matter whatever we've done, um, lied, steal, murder, whatever, no matter what it is. We will be forgiven for it because son ungodly reason. Because God decided to make us and we decided to sin and he decided to put his own send his own son down and he his son died for for us and he bared the cross and he died on the cross a horrible death and he rose again and then he saved all of us and my kind of take on it is just accept it accept the grace 
and try to do your best on this earth and try to be humble about it and I'm not great at this but I'm just trying to send a message you know but uh that's kind of my take on it I guess but um that's gonna be the end of this video and so on that note I will see you on the buff side